Troy, first of all, is Saturday going to be the proudest day of your career? Yeah, I believe so. Um, biggest occasion and naturally it's a, it's, a, it's a monumental game in terms of what it means to English football. So to possibly be leading the, the team out in front of all those people and obviously having my family and friends there would be massive for me. I've been speaking to a lot of Watford supporters mm -hmm. uh, this morning and quite a lot of them are quietly confident that you can, you can win on Saturday. That's, that's good. Do you think this City side have any weaknesses that you can exploit? Every team has weaknesses, otherwise they wouldn't lose a game. So everyone has weaknesses and you know, we're not naive enough to think that we could just turn up and we're going to beat Man City. Like they're a great team, arguably one of the best teams we've had in terms of this uh, generation of uh, football, uh, footballing team. So we definitely show them the respect they deserve, but also it's a one-off game. Anything can happen and Man City lost to Wigan not too long ago, so you have to draw... Um, comparisons from that and hope that you know it's your day on the day. And what kind of game do you think it's going to be? Your approach, is it going to be trying to nullify what City do so well? Um, that, honestly, that's that's the gaffer's decision. Um, we already started training today, so there's, there's things that we're working on throughout obviously the course of this week that um, I would, would never tell you guys anyway. So I think it's just one of them ones where you have to see what the gaffer does, try and follow the instructions to the best you can and, and ultimately we've got to be, everyone's got to be 10 out of 10 to, to win the game. You mentioned Paddy there, mm -hmm. what kind of impact has he had at the club since he's been here and also for you personally, how has he developed your game? Um, for, for the club I think he's obviously, naturally everyone would say it's, it's about stabilising the club but the club's never really been unstable it's just been a, to the outside it's been a bit crazy in terms of manager changeover but he's been he's been massive in terms of how he's just understanding what this place is and what it needs um, naturally we're still growing there's no ceiling on this uh, club just yet we've got uh, a lot to offer in the league and obviously this is the first time we've been at a final in 35 years as well so you have to understand that we're growing and that we're not here every year and it's not a case of let's see that the small details that need to change there's a lot that needs to change behind closed doors and he's doing that uh, one small problem at a time you obviously watched a lot of Man City mm -hmm. do you think they're the best team ever in England do you think they're the better team <sighs> depends what you what you like as as a football fan really um, the Invincibles team was, was a very good team the United team that won the treble was a ridiculous team. So I think over the course of time, you'll you'll see where, whether they are the best. And then you talk about markets and stuff that, that you can talk about how much they've spent. So it's a difficult one, but no doubt they're a ridiculously good team and um, you know got a ridiculously good manager. What have you made of the impact that he's made? The manager? The same as he's made when he went to Germany, the same as he made when he went to Spain. He's, he's probably the best if not the best to ever do it, is definitely up there in the top five. So you have to tip your hat and take um, admiration and, and respect for that. But also at the same time, he's just a human being. Anytime I've had uh, contact with him, he's always been really humble, real nice guy to speak to and you know nothing but good things to say about him. Has he ever given you any advice? Or... <laughs> I don't think I'm his type of player. And uh, <laughs> he ain't got that much time to give me too much advice. So. Um, no, he's just, just a respectful guy. I think sometimes people talk about football, but it's about the man that's behind football. So he's, he's respectful to me and I'm more than respectful to him as well. So. Do you see any similarity between him and Paddy? The way they operate? Both Spanish, that's about it. I've never worked under Pep enough, so um, I wouldn't, like, I don't know, I wouldn't know how to draw any comparisons. I've never been in a, a conversation longer than five minutes with him, but I can tell you that Javi is, is a great guy, um, shows shows me nothing but respect and vice versa and just just the human side of it again, you know, talking about how, how the kids are at school, that kind of thing is, is more important to me than just talking football. And on Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. if you're picked, you're going to be the captain, mm -hmm. what, will you, what will you say to the players before you step out of the dressing room? What will be your message? <laughs> what I'll actually say can't be said on, in front of you lot, but um, I would say something like enjoy it, you've earned it, something along them lines. We, we need to enjoy the, the moment, as I said earlier, 35 years since the last time Watford was in a, in a final. Uh, we've never won a cup, so it's a massive achievement A to get there, but 
B, you're on the cusp of doing something unbelievable, something that's never been done in this club's history. So while you've got to enjoy it, you've also got to know that there's a seriousness to it as well and go out and try and make history. Just talking about the FA Cup itself, mm -hmm. do you think it's as special a competition as it used to be? I remember the last mm -hmm. time Watford were in the final and it just seemed to be a bit of a bigger deal than it is now. Mm, I I disagree because if it wasn't that big, all you guys wouldn't be here. So if it's, that's the simplest way to do it, um, I think if you go to most traditionalists, they love the FA Cup. Like Watford versus Woking at the start of the season was was massive. Every that was a full house, massive for those uh, quote unquote smaller clubs that need the money. And I think when everyone treats it with the respect that it deserves, you you end up with um, Loads of games where people, you know, needed knock them out. Swansea needed to put Man City out. If they had VAR, it could have been a different, different game. So you have to respect it. And again, this is our our competition. So there's no point talking about Champions League and all of those things that they're trying to do with that. This is our competition. Let's enjoy it and let's make it as good as it is. And if you win, you get to Europe as well. Mhm. Mm nice. But if I win, I get to pick up a trophy in front of my mum, which is massive. I ain't done that since I was about twelve. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, to be honest, I don't really want to look that far ahead. Very cliche, I'm just doing all the work I need to do now to, to make sure that I'm in the in the best position that I am to be A, picked, but then B, if I am picked, to perform to a, to a level that's acceptable. And what was the last trophy that, that you picked up? Probably like player's player for like under 12s or something, I don't know. I got one, I got one a few years ago actually, yeah, didn't I? Statos over there, yeah. Got one here, like player's player and that kind of thing, but... This is different, this is a team one. It's all right having um, individual awards, but the team ones are more important than, than anything. And again, it's history for this club. You look, you've got like Alton John up there, he's synonymous with this club, but I want my picture up there for, for, for years to come. Do you think Alton John will be there on Saturday? Don't know, I'm not his PA, so I don't know. Um, if he comes, fair play to him, I hope he enjoys the day. If he doesn't come, I've still got a job to do either way. Cheers. Mm -hmm. um, how exciting is the prospect of potentially uh, putting yourselves in, in history books of this? Oh. Yeah, of course, it's it's massive. Um I said it before, like it's not going to be career-defining for me. Like If I don't win a trophy, and everyone's not going to go, ah, he's rubbish, they think I'm rubbish anyway. So I just, um, for me, it's all about the process of getting to here, and then this will be the icing on top of the cake, essentially, because... As we all know, I've spoke about it to death, but my story to get here is is, uh, is a bit of a roller coaster anyway. So um, we're going to enjoy it. And again, we're not naive. This is a massive, massive test that's in front of us and probably the hardest one. But if you want to win trophies and get into Europe, then you have to play against the best. Uh, you mentioned 35 years since the last time we've been at the Cup final. Has there been much chat around the place about 1984? No. <laughs> I weren't even born, so um, I think it's only Gomez that could talk about that and Ben. So they might have had a, an old fogies conversation, but the rest of us are just uh, just cracking on, and we don't like none of us really know too much about it, to be honest. We know in terms of like obviously it was against Everton and, and how it all came about, but in terms of can we relive it? Not really, because again, I weren't even thought about. Of course, he did start as massive underdogs. There's no getting mm -hmm. away from that. How do you approach a game against a side who? Um, again, it's, it's up to the manager who's paid a lot more money than me to think about that sort of thing. We just try and follow his instructions. But if they were unbeatable, we wouldn't be playing football. We wouldn't be having competition because everyone would just go, oh, here's all the trophies, you go away. And that's it. We, we know it's going to be very difficult. It's going, to be, it's going to be times we need to ride our luck. But also, we've got quality. Like We didn't just turn up here and everyone go, oh, you not, you not go and play against Man City because you deserve it. We've earned it to get here, so we're going to not only enjoy it, but we're also going to try and show um, a level of respect to ourselves that we've earned it. Yeah, and finally, how much does that semi-final win, that exhilarating win, mm -hmm. lift you going into the final? Yeah, of course. Not just that, there's been many occasions this season when we've been down and out and, and come back and shown a real desire to, to get back in the, in the games. And um, naturally, obviously, everyone's talking about the, the semi-final, but 
that couldn't just happen on a one-off occasion if we didn't work hard throughout the season to get to that point and have the trust and the belief that we got the quality to win games. So, yeah, we we know what we're about. You're having a stinker today, by the way. <laughs> um, we know what um, we know what it's all about, and yeah, we just want to try and impose ourselves the best that we can. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you can edit that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 